everybody, this is Sean Powell. I wanted to do a video on how to use YouTube free marketing to get incredible results to any business. Now, y'all, I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I've got a lot of content to cover here, and I want y'all to understand I'm covering the basics, then I'm going to cover what I think is real important, and then I'm going to cover down at the bottom some strategies that I consider uh, some people probably have never even done, to be perfectly honest. Those were those what-ifs. If I tried this, what would happen kind of thing, and it blew my mind. Now, let me explain something. When I first got into online business, I decided that I was going to start doing YouTube videos, but I, I made a bunch. I made about 130 YouTube videos in about a month and a half. All I had was my S3 phone and a $4 stand, and I was doing it at my kitchen table. And though I was getting seen, you know, it's like everybody, I wasn't being focused. I didn't have... I wasn't going after keywords. All I was doing was just typing in whatever I felt like typing. I, I had no guidance at all. Yet, there was some eyes that were getting on me that was impressed with the fact that I was so sincere. You could tell I believed in the business. So, even though I was sort of, you know, I was paddling hard as I could, I didn't, you know, I didn't have a paddle in my hand. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And I think a lot of people can do that. And I see a lot of people, they just throw content out there. And I appreciate them putting out the content. But if you're not guiding a little bit of guidance as to what that video is supposed to be doing, it's not going to hit on a whole lot, to be honest. So I'm going to have to cover a lot of that. But what I want you to know real quick, y'all, when I got an online business, I understood sincerity was the answer. Not only did I understand sincerity was the answer for Facebook. You know, if I just, if I wrote content while standing out, learned sincerity, just, just writing content, stuff that means something, just letting go was the answer to Facebook. And I was getting 60 to, I would say an average 60 a day, somewhere in the ballpark. But because I did it every day, some of those posts from two days ago were coming back. You see what I'm saying? And next thing you know, I would have, you know, I'd had overflows where I was making up to 100. I think I had 119 leads in one day. It was the most leads I ever had for entirely free. And I remember... One Sunday, uh, we went to the beach, and I didn't do any Facebook posting. I got 70 leads on my Sunday while I was not posting at all from overflow, from just consistently getting out to people, okay? So what did I really learn? Facebook was about standing out. Uh, it wasn't about getting seen. You're already getting seen in groups with 150,000 people, and if I'm posting it on a regular basis at the right time. So what, what I really learned was YouTube... And Facebook had a lot of common. Being sincere and letting go was the answer always, right? As I believe that should be the answer. Sincerity is the answer. But the difference was, in, in Facebook, you had to stand out. Uh, you were getting seen already, but you had to stand out to, to get the leads. In YouTube, you had to stand out to get seen. You see what I'm saying? In Facebook, I'm already getting seen, but I, I just wasn't standing out. I was bad commercials. But in YouTube, you've got to stand out so that you can get seen. You're not getting seen. So it's a little backwards in some sense, but the answers are still the same. It was still sincerity was the answer. Okay. So I got free from a job, focused at the second business. I understood that, you know, how to do Facebook. I, I pretty much felt like I learned how to master Facebook. I hadn't seen anybody ever be able to get results like I was getting. A lot of people are contacting me who were leaders saying that they'd like to know what I was doing, things of that nature. Um, you know, so that was just for me focusing at one way of getting out to people and mastering it. Well, when I decided to start another business, as a matter of fact, it was when I first met Frank Calabro, uh, I sent him a message and he told me he'd signed up at a brand new business. Um, when I signed up, he had been in for eight days. So he had a, a week head start on me, to be perfectly honest. I know this sounds crazy. I did not contact my list. I did not contact my Facebook list of 7,500 leads. Now, uh, I look back and I think that's probably pretty crazy, but I knew what I was thinking back then. I was still so new at it. Here's the problem, y'all. I was only a one-trick pony. Somebody come into my business, that's great. But what if they didn't want to do Facebook? What if they wanted to do something? I couldn't teach them nothing. Facebook was all I knew. So even though I thought that would be a tremendous great way, you know, you know, to get out to people, I realized that I was a one-trick pony and this bus doesn't 
sorry, there wasn't but so much that I could really teach people. So I did not want to contact my list. I started from a dead stop in another business that I was extremely excited about, extremely excited about. At that time, there was one point, there was like I think about 1.3 million people in this business we got into. It had grown to 1.8 million real quick, right? All I could tell you is I was excited. I remember my first video, I made a 13-minute video. Uh, I was real excited, I, you know, talking about my sponsor. I don't know if I mentioned Frank Flavor by name. I just mentioned, I mentioned uh, my really crazy rich, you know, crazily rich sponsor, blah, blah, blah. Had a lot of fun with it and just let it go, right? Y'all, my phone rang off the hook. I got eight phone calls that very first day off of that video. Now, I grant you, that video, that business has been around for a while. I was not at page one. Understand it was not happening, but my excitement, my enthusiasm, and my belief in that business was showing through. And I went big in my business. And I was telling people, look, y'all, the answer to this, I was, I was reading between the lines. I was, I was given the big picture. The answer is go big in your business, blah, blah, blah. And what happened? People jumped all over it, right? Now, I still had not contacted my list of, of uh, you know, big list I had. I wanted to start from a dead stop with YouTube the same way I started with Facebook. And every day, I, I felt it. I wanted to make videos. I was putting out them same kind of content, same kind of videos. Man, I'm telling you, I was getting, you know, uh, uh, subscribers on my channel left and right, comments down below, things of that nature, and it just took off. Uh, first month, I think I wound up making about five thousand. Second month, I don't even remember. Third month, I made thirteen thousand dollars in thirty days, and I never contacted my list. I know that sounds so against anything anybody ever think, but I, it was the honest truth. I was blowing the freaking doors off of it, and all I was doing was YouTube in a business. I did not catch the tidal wave when it first came in. This tidal wave been out for a year. I mean, you know, this business has been rolling. It was already a big business. A lot of people are starting to say, hey, this is already saturated, blah, blah, blah. But see, it didn't really matter. A lot of the people who were following me in the YouTube world um, were already in that business. But they, they fed off my excitement, my enthusiasm. So they became a, you know, is part of my list, to be perfectly honest. And that's going to be part of a little bit what I'm going to talk about. So I want you all to know where I came into YouTube at. I started at the beginning. I played around with it. I had somebody who was very, very good at what she did. It was a, uh, a lady. Um, I had seen her in another business that the creator of the business was doing a lot of paid advertising. And she came through there with nothing but YouTube and blew the doors off of them. She was number one up there without spending a dime. And I, I always liked the feel of that. You know, just something about I ain't trying to say put it in your face or anything, but that's was, was just a gorgeous thing to see somebody come along and actually beat the CEO of the business, the creator of the business at their own game with nothing more than just free advertising. So in some ways, that influenced me. I had a guy named Chuck Belay. Uh, Chuck Belay, short of, uh, he was never my sponsor. I kind of wish he had been. We have so many things in common when it comes to the YouTube world. Chuck totally believed that there is no four minute video for YouTube, to be honest. He believed that it would last as long as it lasts, it's over when it's over, and that someone's supposed to hear it and was gonna listen to the end, that's the ones it was really made for, they're the ones that's gonna connect with me. And I, I got that from Chuck Bolay. If you ask YouTube after four minutes, they're gonna start dropping off, that is not what Chuck believed in, uh, even though if it's true, I just know that the following I had from people that come in, into my YouTube channel, my YouTube world, and all the comments I got from people saying I inspired them would not have happened in four-minute videos. And I know that's what Chuck meant. So Chuck was number one of the leaderboards in this business that I was in, you know, with. Uh, I gave Chuck a lot of respect. Chuck taught me something. Don't you listen, y'all. Chuck was number one on the leaderboard. I was number two. I was about tens. Uh, 10 members from being number one. It was June 13th. I remember it was my dad's birthday. And that morning, I got up. I was posting on Facebook. Hadn't talked to Chuck Bollet or anything. Didn't talk to him a whole lot. You know, he knew who I was from the leaderboards. And, uh, and uh, just, you know, called a couple of times and talked. But um, that morning, I got up. 
And uh, I remember at lunchtime, I had gotten 50 leads, 50 leads in the Facebook world, y'all. I was, I was killing it. And every time I looked at the leaderboard, no matter what I threw at it, there was Chuck. He was staying the same distance. I could not, I could not gain any ground on him. And I'm like, what in the world is he doing? After lunchtime, about one o'clock, I remember giving him a call. And I was a little excited and said, Chuck, dude, I am killing it. And, you know, I've made up a lot of ground, on, you know, for that day, but I was not making ground on Chuck. I could not catch him. He was only like 10 members. When I moved up, he moved up with me. He had to be getting close to the same amount of leads, I'm guessing, right? And this was a, a big eye-opener for me, y'all. Chuck had been in the hospital almost a week. Chuck was not even doing videos. Chuck's residual work from YouTube is what I was competing against. Now, I grant you, I'm not seeing many people that can get incredible lead results or people that turn into members like Chuck could. It was just something absolutely incredible. But what I learned was, as good as I was doing in Facebook, and, and to be honest, y'all, later on that day, I passed Chuck. I did. I, I, I stayed. I kept the hammer down. I went to number one. I never went back away from number one until I think just about the time I quit with that business and went somewhere else. I, I just outgrew. I need to go somewhere else, to be perfectly honest. And um, I think I was like number one for several months back to back to back. And I continued to do Facebook. But when I decided to hit that next business, it really taught me what Chuck Bollet had had taught me that day. It wasn't from him. It's, it's, it was when he answered the phone. And I knew he wasn't lying. He'd been in the hospital. And, you know, he would even knew that we were com you know, competing right here at first. But I just had no idea the power of residual, what it can do in the YouTube world. So I decided that when I started my next business, when I walked away from there, that I was going to focus at YouTube because I needed to not be that one trick pony. Okay. Sorry about the long introduction to here, y'all. But I want y'all to know where I came from, what motivated me. Um, what I had seen that told me YouTube could be the answer. Okay, so I'm going to cover the basics at the beginning of some of the stuff you need to hear. Anyhow, I'm going to cover, I'm going to go through this pretty quick. Then I'm going to talk about strategies and show you certain things to look up for at the YouTube world. Okay, number one, how do you use uh, YouTube free marketing and get incredible results to any business? Number one, YouTube is entirely free. Y'all. You can get as much real estate in the online business world as you ever want. Common sense, y'all. You know, every time I think about real estate and online business, I think YouTube. I always think about in, the, in what the 1800s when they're telling you, just move here and get all the land you want kind of thing. And all people had to do was just go there and get the free real estate. That is what YouTube is like, if you really think about it. Yet there's so many people that decide, I'm not going to get real estate for it. I, to be honest, it's a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer. Even me at the height of Facebook, and I was putting in the work every day. I was putting in a decent amount of time, you know, can, you know, getting out to people, managing that and stuff like that, and talking to people on the phone, blah, blah, blah. I, even I then knew YouTube was a strong, viable source. I'd seen too many people that could make it work, Okay. YouTube is entirely free. You can get as much real estate as you want in the online business world. Uh, you just have to go out there and get it. Uh, number two is going to be hangups. Do whatever. Okay, number two is hangups. Uh, I put this one here because it's so important. Do whatever works best for you that puts you making content on a regular basis. And uh, it, what it, I was actually saying is if you think you are too fat, you think you're too old, you think you're too ugly, you think you're too bald, you're missing your ear. Uh, didn't speak good enough English. Um, if if now I'm uh, to be honest, I said this in another video recently. I'm entirely blind in my right eye. Now, I said partially blind. My, actually, I'm entirely blind in my right eye. I could easily have made excuses saying, you know what, I can't do videos. I could have been just like everybody else with the hangup show. But you know, to be perfectly honest, what I wanted more than anything, I wanted my freedom for me, my little boy, more than I cared what anybody could say more than what anybody thought. And when I sat down at that kitchen table, y'all, with that $4 stand that I bought from eBay and my, my S3 phone and just started recording, it didn't matter. At the beginning, I really was worried that somebody was going to be you know, picking on me and stuff like that. Do you know what? It didn't matter. 
Nobody said anything. And I'm going to tell you something, y'all. If you get up there and you believe in the business, don't join a business if you don't. Don't join a business if you don't. Because if you don't, you can't sound like I do. You cannot be passionate about it. People are not going to feel you. You are not going to be relatable. People want people that believe in what they do. It's going to be accessible and they are, make content. That's perfectly what they want inside there, you know, for a sponsor. But when I sit down, y'all, and I just let go, you know, I didn't do a lot of things right back in those days. I can tell you when I had nothing more than just my S3 phone, but, you know, I had to run around to it and sit down, and I didn't even know how to edit that part out. You know, I was as green as green can be. And what was my content, y'all? I would tell them about a business I found, something I believed in. I would tell them what I think, uh, what the business meant to me, what it could mean to me and my little boy. And then I would give them a call to action, and I'd show them the way in. You know, that's what almost every one of my videos were. I didn't have to script anything. And it was me sitting at my table just letting go, y'all. That was a beautiful thing. You know, I go back now. Uh, it's been over two years since I was doing those videos, right? And, and of course, I've evolved a lot. I've grown a lot since then in the online business world. I was so green back then. But you know what? There's still something beautiful about seeing somebody on fire sitting down with nothing more than just letting go. And even though I wasn't titling things right, that number seven person would sign up. That number 12 person would sign up. Out of 15 views, you know, stuff like that, it, I was still getting seen. I just, I needed a lot of guidance. I needed to be pushed in certain directions, okay? But I can tell you this. doesn't matter what you look like. doesn't matter uh, anything like that, y'all. If you believe in what you're doing and, and you've got the bigger picture, if I'm not getting seen, I'm not going to grow. And you just let go. Belief is a universal language, y'all. I'm going to tell you that. Belief is a universal language, and they might have looked at you for being, maybe I'm so fat, I can't barely even sit in this image. But I can tell you what, after about two minutes of letting me just let go, I can guarantee you they're going to connect with me. They're going to fill that business because belief is a universal language. Now, here's the thing. Hang-ups are your hang-ups. It's not theirs. And... I don't care what position I'm in, what you know, whatever it is, I can tell you this, if I just let get up there in the business I believe in and just let go, they can't wait to see my next video. That's exactly how it's going to be, y'all. It doesn't matter who you are, how you speak, or anything. Just get up there and let it go. Okay? Um, I will tell you this. There are certain things. If I think that you should be comfortable making videos, like I'm over here in the right, you know, in the car, I'm at the bottom corner of the video, right? If you don't feel comfortable doing that, then don't do that. Um, start off with just an image, picture. A lot of times I'd use a picture of me and my little boy. Where is it at? Same one as this one right here, y'all. And I'd say, hey, uh, my name is Sean Powell. I'm 44 years old. I've uh, been in restaurants for 26 years. I'm able to get free from a job May 7, 2015. All on business, all I do for a living I'm right here in North Carolina. And uh, be a full-time dad for my little boy. And that's a huge blessing. And then just let go. That's an introductory. I let them know what I need. You know, they need to know, and I ain't worried about what they're seeing or anything like that. So, if you do have hangups, it's a roadblock. Do whatever you got to do to get over your roadblock. If that means you not showing up there, then that's great. Just do a screen share and just talk and just drop that picture. That picture is not the important thing. For them hearing you is the most important thing. Okay. Let's see. Number three. I'm not going to say that you have to do YouTube to make it an online business world. But I will say I don't personally know anyone that has made it that doesn't have a presence in the YouTube world. I will not want to try and be that special snowflake and try to do it without it for sure. So understand that, y'all. I'm not saying you got to make it an online business. You got to do YouTube. But I sure don't know anybody who's made it who didn't have a presence in it. When you got free real estate and you're busting your butt in something and some people spending so much money and you understand getting seen and branding yourself is the answer, why would you... Give away when the only thing I got to do is sit down in a business I believe in, learn the bullet points about it, apply action, learn what needs to be said, and mash your record button and let go. That's it. There's your answer right there. You want to blow up the YouTube world? I just pretty much told you. Now I just got to give you some a uh, little bit of direction. That's all I got to do. There is no wrong time to do YouTube, y'all. Okay. I, uh, I don't care. I, I if I'm in a business that just came out, 
I'm excited. Okay, I'm excited. If they've just came out, and I know if it's beginning to tidal wave, y'all, I am I'm gonna get my ducks in the road and I'm gonna blow that business out of the water. If I came in it and it's been around for a year, I don't care. The excitement, I, I've learned no matter what angle I come in, it does not matter that it excites me to to start uh, making content for a new for a whole new business, a new perspective of business. It's exciting to be honest, y'all. Uh, you know, and, and if you get excited about it, almost giddy at the beginning, that's what people are going to connect with. You know, there's nothing more than exciting and enthusiasm and belief in a video that shines through. It shines through. It really does, y'all. So let me let me give you a couple examples of what I consider different times of a business, and any of them won't even matter, okay? I don't care what anybody says. It don't matter, and I even tell you how it works for you. If at the beginning of a business before the tidal wave, right? In other words, you snuck in on the ground floor. You know about this great business. Nobody else even knows about it. A couple of different leaders have been talking about getting on board. You might be feeding off their Facebook group. That is perfect. Now, the great thing is most of those big leaders, to be honest, what does most people teach to do? Paid advertising, right? So they're going to be out there spending $50,000, $100,000. I mean, you just don't even know how much these people spend, these big leaders. And they're going, to, they're going to launch their list down at it and things of that nature, right? Now, if you are focused at killing those keywords, whatever that business is, I don't care what it is, it's, it doesn't have a name for itself yet, right? Nobody really is a face for that business. You get on YouTube and you just start being relentless. I'm talking about slapping out video after video after video on the name of that business. Um, and, and then use certain keywords that you're going to learn. It's going to be good comp plan, compensation, uh, uh, training. Um, what do you call it? Uh, the business followed by, I don't know, review. Uh, you know, the hot keywords. The one, and I'll show you how to look them up in just a minute as well. And you just start hammering away with those. Do you think that YouTube is not going to put you at the top? There's no competition. Of course they are. So your content is going to start sliding up there at the very top on that page one. You're going to be the go-to person. That is what getting in at, at the ground level looks like. And I'm going to show you an example of that in just a little bit too. Number two, during the time that many leaders are doing all sorts of paid advertising. Great. Now that, that can almost be at the same time. Or you could have beat them, to be perfectly honest. That's fine. Either way is fine. You're already getting over there all over that page one in the YouTube world for the title of that business, right? Okay. Well, these people, and not only just the leaders, we're talking other members, because they're being taught to do the same thing. While they're out there branding the leaders, because most don't make their own landing sales pages and explain the business themselves, 99% of them don't, what's going to happen is, a lot of times, people are not going to sign up yet. They're not right from the day one. The business sounds great, but you know what? I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some homework on this. I'm gonna do some research on it. And what I do is, I spend two days looking up in the Facebook group and hitting YouTube. That's me personally, right here, right? So what what would I do? I I would say that they're going. Well, what they're going to do? I say they're going to hit Google, and I say they're going to hit YouTube. People love videos, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. They're going to hit YouTube. And even though this big leader and their team members did paid advertising, these, especially the team members, y'all, they didn't get a chance to connect with them. They weren't in the landing page. They weren't in the sales page. The people have already gone through and looked at it. They walked through the, the hallways of their house, their business. They were gone. The the person that they wanted to, to, to you know, to send them there, they wasn't standing there with their hand out there to welcome them and, and tell them, you know, hey, this is my business. I'm really proud of it. Things of that nature. There's nobody to connect to. Now, when they leave there, because all they got now is an email, to be perfectly honest, all they're trying to catch is an email after they've already left the business. That's what a lot of people treat as far as paid advertising. What's going to happen? They're going to look up YouTube and you're going to see me sitting there smiling on the first video, the second video, the fourth video, the eighth video, whatever, and I'm letting go. I'm telling people what I think about my business. If you don't think they're going to connect with me, 
do you think that these people who went through here that did not sign up aren't going to sign up with me? I've seen it too many times. I'm not trying to steal their people, y'all. But I can tell you what. If they're not greeting people at the front door and they have nobody to connect with, someone to relate to, and if you understand people join people, they're not going there. And i tell you something else, too. Even if the people look me up on YouTube and they've already signed up, I cannot tell you the number of comments, the number of messages, the number of emails I've got that people tell me, I wish I'd signed up with you. I wish I'd got up underneath you because I see all the passion, what you think about your business, and you believe in your business. You don't think that they're going to subscribe to my channel. You don't think they won't be ready for the next business. They're going to follow me. They're going to be a following of you. They don't, I don't, you know what? It's no longer a big deal about if they're on my team or not. What I look for is someone who's applying action. If someone's applying action in the PLS world and they don't have a sponsor, to be perfectly honest, I'm not trying to steal anybody. I'm not going, I don't want them to change. What I want to do is I want to help the ones that's applying action. I'll reach out to those people. And they ain't even my own people. And some of y'all watching this might even have already heard me do that before. To be honest, I do that at times. It's more important to me that we're all going down the same path. And if there's something I know that can help them and guide them a little bit, don't have to be in my downline. I would rather help someone that's in someone else's team that is trying to make something themselves. Getting out and getting seen. Don't care what anybody thinks as opposed to a, a, a gold diamond platinum member that's mine that is a dead horse. It's not doing nothing. I appreciate them. I'm here if you need anything. What else can I say? I can't do your business for you. I'd help this other person, even if they're not a dollar behind me. Because after a while, y'all, there is a bigger picture. There is a bigger picture. I'd love to see this person make it. Okay? So, even though they're doing the paid advertising, here I am benefiting from it because they didn't get a chance to connect with nobody uh, with anybody, and here they are connected with me. They watch two or three of my videos. You don't think they're going to be contacting me? Of course they will. Of course they will. Number three. Uh, after the leaders have left, none of the above time frames truly matter, okay? So I put or after the leaders have left because I was talking about leaders above it. Y'all, it just doesn't matter even if they're gone. Uh, let's say that someone did an excellent job. Two years ago, they made a video. It's got 25,000 views. It's number one. It's an impressive video, to be perfectly honest, right? It's a good video. But let me tell you something, y'all. At this great video that's sitting up here at the top, they, a lot of times, are not making new content. They may not even be there anymore, to be perfectly honest. may not even be focusing at that business. Now, think about this. Picture that this person that does a great job, um, their content's probably better than yours. Maybe so. It's an opinion. YouTube don't really care about an opinion. What they're looking for is going to be a workhorse now. So let's say that, that, that the person here is a Lamborghini and they're sitting at the stoplight, right? Here's this gorgeous Lamborghini. It's first place for the business you want to be at on page one. And here you are. You're some 1970s station wagon. With, it's like a faded green. The sun's bleached it out. You don't even want to be sitting there. It's got wood grain in the side, missing hubcaps. We're talking about a, you know, nothing in comparison to what this, this leader or whoever made that video could, that's sitting up here, right? But let me tell you something. When you pull up at the stoplight, and if that Lamborghini doesn't know you're racing, you can blow the doors off of that Lamborghini. You understand what I'm saying? If you become a workhorse, and this person don't even know you're racing, you can easily start moving up. If you keep hitting that key, keywords, just hit that keywords in every video, and I'm going to teach you a little bit, some uh, things to help you with that in just a minute, too. You could go past that Lamborghini and be number one up there. It may take a while, y'all. It took me in PLS, when I focused at it, it took me about a week and a half to go to number one. And I'll show you some pictures in just a second also to let you know that's what focusing does, obviously, right? So, so even after the leaders have gone, it does not really matter. The time frames are still good. Top videos that uh, can be taken over by being a workhorse and focusing on the keywords. That's exactly what I just said. Just different perspectives of motivation, really. So if I came in on day one and the tidal wave hasn't come through yet, everybody you know, looking at that business, great. I know I'm going to put the work in. I'm going to probably, to be honest, 50 videos, 
maybe, maybe even more. Last time I did that, out of the first 40 videos, I was 24 or 25 of the first 40 videos for that business that was just taken off from the tidal wave. How much do you think it's worth? I haven't promoted that business since May. I last I saw, I had spent, sponsored another 65 or 70 people since May, and I hadn't even said the word from off my residual um, you know, videos itself, where I just dominated YouTube world there in that business. I've been in three different businesses um, that I was number one um, for the keywords for that business, you know, for the title and the name of it at YouTube by being a workhorse and just focusing when nobody else was doing it and just let it go. Okay, so uh, I, I do have some credibility. I'd like, I'd like for you to know that, okay? Um, number five, you have got to let go. You've got to be you, observe other people and what they do and what influences you. Maybe take uh, that and make it your own, but don't try to be someone else. I told you. I told you two people that motivated me. This young lady named Marissa, and you know what? She's still a beast, and what she does, her YouTube style is different than anybody else that I've seen, and I don't try to copy her. What I do is I appreciate what she's done and just influencing me, to be perfectly honest, to let me be my own person as well. So I, I, I tell Marissa I appreciate it because without her, you know, she took time to make a couple of YouTube videos. She liked me sitting at that kitchen table letting go, even though I was screwing up on some things and this and that. So what did she want to do? She reached out to me. I wasn't her down the line. Made a YouTube video with my name up there, put it unlisted just for me so that I could get a chance to see some of the things that she did. And that's some of the things I'm going to be sharing with you too. That's exactly what I was telling you earlier. There is a bigger picture than just being a dollar bill that you make. When you first get an online business, you may think that way. Oh, i got to make my own money before I can show somebody else. I got that. But after you do, y'all, there is a bigger picture. It's a much bigger picture. Okay? Um, well, and again, don't let me forget about Chuck Volet. Again, observed him just like I said. Learned what he did, things that I thought were great, and things that would work for me, and, and I used it to my advantage. You know, so I appreciate Chuck as well. What people want is someone that believes in what they do, makes content consistently, are and are accessible. I already said that is too. This is a big one. Don't turn into guru guy. Just because the button was mashed, you think you got to be somebody else. You don't be you. If you try to be someone else, who's going to be you? You see what I'm saying? Everybody that I know that I'm not talking about just um, on my business. I'm talking about. You know, my little boy watches video games all the time. And the people up there that's got, you know, 12 million subscribers, 30 million subscribers, crazy stuff like that. They're not trying to be someone else. They're not trying to be funny. If they're not funny, then just be you. But if you are funny, if you're light, you know, easy going and stuff like that, then just let that be you. Y'all get content. Learn to, you know, of course, you can learn to manipulate a little bit in YouTube world what works and get you views and seen and stuff like that and subscribers. But at the same time, don't change who you are in the process. You need to be you. There's nothing wrong with you. Just just get comfortable. That's really it. Get comfortable getting out and getting seen in places where people are not in your business. Um, well, what somebody wants is, I just already told you that. Okay. Everyone has a story. Tell people where you came from. Uh, what your online business has done for you or could do for you, and be sincere. Okay, I'm going to start moving a little bit quicker. Uh, I don't think quality matters as much as you just getting your point across. You can do that with a $4 stand and a phone, to be honest. I already said that earlier. Like I said before, belief is a universal language. It means more than how, you, uh, than how you recorded it. You will evolve. That is misspelt. Why it doesn't that? Sorry. You will evolve as needed, and the videos will get better just by doing it alone. If your phone isn't good enough with a, just a little stand walking around, uh, you know, whatever is fine, y'all. It does not really matter. Um, I think as, as much as the message itself coming across, uh, if you're someone that believes in your business, passionate about it, you know the bullet points about it, I don't think you got to script too much. You just let it go, and I keep saying that, but it is the answer. It's going to work in the YouTube world. Um, so, and if you do need to one day change your software and get a nice laptop and things of that nature, it will evolve to that point. You'll know that when you get there. Until then, don't worry about it. Just be making content with whatever you, you got to work with. Just go with it, okay? I would suggest having a game plan in mind 
when you do a video, don't have to script it. Uh, actually, don't uh, you don't have to script it. I put actually put don't script it. It's even better. Game plan like uh, introduce you, uh, how long you've been in online business, things like that. Then tell them what you um, what business you found, what it means to you, or could mean to you and your family. Tell some bullet points. Those are the great things about the business that you liked about it. Uh, why you signed up. Maybe how great the people are in the business and the Facebook group. And at the end, call to actions at the video. Show them the way in. So if you want to show them, look, y'all, this is where you sign up, blah, blah, blah. That's all you got to do. And if you did that over and over and over again, you'd be surprised. You could take that alone and just retitle it so you can hit certain keywords and stuff like that. It'll move you right on up. You'd be surprised if you're doing content on a regular basis. Uh, let's see. This is a game plan for a video. Uh, see, that's a game plan for a video uh, per se. Okay. Number nine, video layouts. Okay. If you do not want to get seen in the videos, that is fine. Don't let this keep you from doing videos. I touched up on this a little bit talking about uh, hangups, you know, things of that nature. There are different layouts, and I'm going to talk about different ones for you. Different layouts, phone full screen, you know, just walking around. Some people like to do that positioned at the table somewhere like that is fine or uh especially now man phones are ridiculous when it comes to quality you know videos and things of that nature i say 720p probably okay uh, 1080p yeah i wouldn't go no more than that that's for sure for you know landing page sales page i think 720 is probably fun considering that you know 720 still looks good on all devices anything bigger than that they might be going down anyhow you know uh, or walking or traveling, anything you like. I see a lot of people like to set it up in the car and they're traveling around. Sometimes it's interesting. Uh, you know, I've seen different people. It, it's fun. It's, it's almost becomes a style, whatever fits comfortable with you. Screen share on a laptop, okay? PC with just a screen itself. I would suggest having a picture maybe to start off with so they can have a feel of the person that's doing the presentation, though. A face to go with a voice. I showed you that earlier, exactly how I'd start off a video or something like that. Uh, you in the corner of the screen with a screen share like I'm doing now. Uh, and here's another option, too, is green screen. The green screen is not hard. Different software would definitely, there's a bunch of them, they'll do it. The main thing about green screen is make sure that you have the quality lighting that is necessary. Um, they tell you if, if you try to do green screen and the lighting's not there, um, it, it don't even try it. It's really going to be a fail, to be perfectly honest. Um, not that green screen is expensive, but at the same time, you do make sure you want to have the right lighting. That's one of the most important things to tell you about green screens of those thinking about doing that. Any of these can be effective. I often try different ones and ways of getting out the people. I would say just do what feels the most comfortable to you, to be honest. And, and you know, I've actually, I was making 10K plus a month and I was never in the corner. The software I was using wouldn't even allow it, to be perfectly honest. And the computer I was using, a little, little laptop I bought from the pawn shop for $165. Um, you know, and that got me to $10,000 plus a month. It is not about, again, it's not that much about the software. And as far as the quality to me, as much as the message. I keep saying that, okay? Um, these things above are pretty much giving things to the video making world. These things below are not. Okay, so this is going to get to a little bit more of the juicier stuff. You have to learn to focus at YouTube. You have got to learn to do videos on the days that you feel like doing them. People can sense the difference. Don't think they can't because they can. Uh, don't, you know, as a matter of fact, what I said, don't think they can't. Not every video is going to be a great video, and that is okay, y'all. I already tell you that. Um, you're still making content, branding you, and getting seen. There will be great video days, but just because today's video might not be a great video doesn't mean it's not worth it. I have one of my top videos was a mess up. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Um, I had taken a screenshot, and I used the same screenshot software to, I made my videos with, so only about that much of the page was showing. And I'd gone through the whole video, and I had fun with the video. It was a good video. And when I was done with it, I come to realize that I only had that much of the screen. So it was going full screen, but it was blown up. I got over 10,000 views, the most thumb up I'd gotten. Um, and while I was like, you know, it was a good video, but they couldn't see what I was talking about. I happened to be talking about how to make banners 
And, and I was talking about, uh, you know, um, you look at the butterflies here. I think the women like this kind of banner, blah, blah, blah. It's butterflies moving around the banner. They couldn't see it. So I went back and edited it, and I was making funny comments like, you should have seen how pretty the, you know, the butterflies were and stuff like that. And that was so much appreciated, to be honest, even though they couldn't see what I was talking about, that it wound up being one of my biggest videos. So, you know, and I came so close to discarding that entirely. And, and look at how many people I probably got just from that video alone who are really, really appreciated and thought it was fun. You know, they can tell I messed up, but it worked for, for them to be perfectly honest. So a lot of times the ones you don't think are good videos are often sometimes have been looked at as being a lot, you know, to more, uh, a lot of value to someone else. Okay. Um, okay. Get a business in mind and be relentless at getting out and getting seen. Focus at keywords. Show and teach keywords at YouTube. Okay, y'all, here we go. All right, this is my YouTube channel. I think the little ledger across the top is going to block it, but trust me, this is what I'm going to type in right here. This is going to be for Power Lead System. Now, I want you to look at this. I'll say what it is. Power Lead Systems, Power Lead Systems Comp, Power Lead Systems 2017, Power Lead Systems Training, Power Lead Systems Compensation Plan, Power Lead Systems Review, Parley Systems Traffic, Parley System Compensation, Parley Systems Capture Page, and Parley System Back Office. Out of these 10, okay, out of piping in Parley Systems, these next 10 comments are the most searched out of all of YouTube. So some of y'all, you're looking up different software, going here and purchasing this and that stuff like that. I got that. If you want to do that and do SEO and things of that nature, that's fine. I, I totally get that. But here's the top 10 right here. Isn't that going to be pretty good for you to work with? I would suggest that. Um, I think being a workhorse and, you know, it's like I keep saying, and just focusing on a couple of these keywords will wind up putting you right in the pages and the places that you want to get at in the first place. So in my opinion, this is what you want to do. So let's go to Power Lead Systems right here. All right. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's me at number one. Uh, what was that about number six? Something like that. I have not really been doing a lot of videos the last couple of weeks. I've been focusing at making this content, to be perfectly honest. I do still have the number one video just sitting up here for Power Lead Systems, so that's pretty cool. Let's go to Updates. Let's see what's that one. Okay, I'm number one for Updates, and this is one of the last videos. That's why I was looking at this uh, for Power Lead Systems. This is number three. I'm number four, so I'm one, three, and four for the keywords for Power Lead System Updates. Um, we'll do one more. Let's do comp. I don't have no idea. Okay, comp, I'm number two, I'm number four, I'm number five, seven, eight. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? So you can tell where I've been focusing at the keywords, and it's done me well. And of course, I've gotten a lot of members into it. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos where I show, you know, proof of income things I'm doing on Facebook, a lot of this is not just coming from Facebook. It's coming from YouTube as well. Um, now, I will tell you this. Me personally, I've always gotten more lead numbers with Facebook. I think Facebook can be an incredible way to build up a huge list. If people get a chance to connect with you, if you can get them in the Facebook group, um, they will definitely convert. But in the YouTube world, I do find the quality of leads to be higher. Now think about that. Why, why would these quality leads be higher? They have connected with you. They watch two or three of your videos, and most of these people, you're not having to sell anything. Understand, you don't have to sell these things. You've already done a keyword for Power Lead Systems. They already know what Power Lead Systems is. Most of them already told you that earlier, right? A lot of these people already know. So when they go through and they look it up, they already know the price. A good deal of them do. They, they already know what it is. You don't have to sell them on that. All you got to do is, it's like I keep saying, be relatable, show that you believe in your business, and you're accessible, and put in content so you can stay at the top of the page so you can grab, you know, grab attention. All right, so that's Power Lead Systems right here. I will show you one more, y'all. I'm not suggesting anybody sign up at these businesses, okay? But I will show you what I've done. This is, uh, let's see, was that number three? Number five or six, seven? Eight, it's about 10, 11, it's about 13, 
maybe 15, 16, was it about 18, 19, 20, 21? You know, I haven't, this is the business I told you about. I haven't not promoted since like May, the last week of May or something like that. Yet here I am still plastered out of the first 40, at least 20 times up there. And I've seen as much as the first 25 out of 40 and just about, you know, the first five was just me, you know, putting it in up here. So that's what staying focused at times are. Now, because of the fact that I haven't stayed focused at it, of course, I'm going to start dropping down. And Colin right here is going to number one. And to be honest, he's a perfect, I'm a perfect example. He's a perfect example. Someone's applying action while the other person who dominated the page is no longer focusing. So I was that Lamborghini that was asleep while he was out there putting in the content. So he deserves it. Absolutely deserves to be where he's at. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be enough as far as showing content for that. Show the keywords at YouTube. Uh, top four to five video keywords for Powerly Systems in the image below. What this was is I made a video uh, before I stopped and started focusing at uh, another business I've recently come into and making all the videos for Master Tech, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Master Training Institute. I had made a video uh, maybe about two weeks ago and in Powerly Systems, the first four out of five was me. And that was actually a screenshot. I didn't know if I was going to look it up or not so I'll put it in there so four to five a video keyword for powerly systems in the image below being a workhorse exactly what happens big businesses with many many people in it searching compared to small uh, smaller searches for it so keep that in mind large businesses may mean more views than not on page one okay so what does that mean if there's two million people in the business you're or five million let's say let's go big five million people in the business Y'all, you may be going for that page one, but you understand that if you are not page one, or if you are page one, but you're not at the top, how many people are searching? You understand what I'm saying? Now, it becomes a percentage of five million people. How many people are really searching for that business? Now, so even though I'm not page one, I could be having no telling how many views. I do a video, I could get 300 views average off my videos I'm putting on, and I'm not page one. Yet, in a smaller business, I could be number one at the very top and maybe still only get 150 views in a week's time. You cannot change, for that business per se, the number of people who are searching for it. So don't knock yourself, don't beat yourself up if you're not getting a lot of searches and views for that business. Now there's other things you can do you can try to leverage your business, uh, you know, with other keywords that might wind up being searched, and you can bring them to the business. There's all sorts of uh, strategies and techniques that people like to use. Review videos for other businesses where they defer them to this one, things of that nature. Uh, I would suggest doing it as respectful as possible if you plan on doing nothing but review videos and where you're deferring people, because I've seen a lot of times where I thought it was a little shady. People trying to do reviews on a business that they are not even part of just so they could send them to another business. Um, I, I think there's a certain amount of respect that you should have in a video. I think some people have a tendency to cross that. Can it be a, a viable way? Yes, it can. I just choose not to do it that way. That's my own personal opinion. And I've seen other leaders that did really well with that, and even they decided over time that it wasn't the best way to do it, so they quit doing it. Okay? So keep rolling here. Uh, you have to be relentless. You have to be a workhorse. Other people's content may be better. It's really just an opinion, to be honest. Uh, but you can outwork them. Lamborghini station wagon example. I've already gave that. Okay. Uh, go back to number four. I don't have to do that. I already covered what I was going to do. Start conversations at YouTube messages. Okay. This is a pretty big one, y'all. Um, if you had to choose between someone that you know downline messaging you on Facebook directly on your timeline or messaging or you putting on a new video and this person talking to you at YouTube y'all chat up I'm telling you have the biggest conversation in the world at YouTube because of the fact that YouTube is looking for feedback the more people are sitting there messaging and commenting and putting likes and you can tag the people who are really good so it gives them a chance to feel this person here relates to me. They're you know, subscribed to my channel. 
Uh, they might have some really good messages, things like that. That's an awesome person. You definitely want to, to hold that, you know, when you um, do comments. You want to put a heart beside it so that it would stay at the top so other people could see it. Um, you know, it, to me, that's a pretty simple thing. But having conversations, even something as simple like, hey, Jim, uh, I appreciate your comment. So how's your online business doing? You know, uh, to be honest, these are easy things. These are things you read about. And some of the simple books that how to win friends and influence people and stuff like that, you know. But, y'all, I'm telling you, things like this make a difference. Always end it with, like, a question. And then watch them and they come back and feed off of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Because YouTube is definitely looking for feedback and people making comments on your, on your videos. All right, here's an easy one. Tell people to comment like and subscribe okay you just literally tell people number one way to get call to actions is just to tell them uh at the end of my video i even tell them at the beginning of my video i have a little sign that pops up telling them to subscribe to my channel at the end of my video right before i get done i have another sign so i'm telling them and it's, it's up there three different times and within a video time frame it does help i can tell you that anytime you get the thought in their mind then there's, there's going to be a possibility that they will actually subscribe to your channel so I've actually come across, I've got about 40, I think 2,045 um, subscribers or something. I just hit over 2,000, um, let's see, what, about two weeks ago, week and a half ago, something like that. So it's really just starting to you know, catch up, it's starting to really get good. Okay, allow spam that does not have a link in it. If somebody wants to go to every video I've got and put crap up there, I know it's spam, y'all. But you know what? YouTube don't care. And it will still acknowledge it and let it go up. I've seen where I let one person go through and he hit all my videos. I even told him, as long as he didn't put a link, I didn't really care. And he was, I think he was talking about some kind of music for videos or something. And I told him I didn't really mind as long as he didn't put a link in there that he could do it. And y'all, I watched my videos go up. I was working on power lead systems, as a matter of fact. Uh, working on that, and I saw my videos jumping up because of him just going down every one of my videos, leaving that comment. So, if somebody's got a link, then I will uh, get rid of the link, uh, you know, the, the whole message. If it doesn't, there, it doesn't cause any harm, as far as I'm concerned, it does more good than bad. It does not hurt my feelings. Okay? Uh, real specific here, this is going to be a big one, y'all. Name your content twice in the title where possible. Copy all names um, to the top of the description. Okay, uh, let me let me just show you right here. Uh, let's see here. Let's do. Um, let's see if we're going to do the keywords PLS. Power lead systems. What is power lead systems? Okay, or well, I guess we'll write it out. Uh, power lead systems. What is our system? Okay. There is, let's spell it right. That probably help. Okay. Power lead systems. What is power lead systems? Okay. Um, there is nothing wrong with having something like that as a title at the beginning of your YouTube video. Okay. The reason why it's so powerful is that you're using that keyword not once, but twice. You are really being an authority at that keyword itself. What was that keyword? It's power lead systems. I could put power lead systems, uh, uh, power lead systems um, comp, uh, comp fully explained or something like that. And I know power lead systems is a big word, y'all. I, I know it is. So sometimes it's kind of hard to get it up there twice. But if possible, I do try to name it twice. If you have a business that's got smaller, you know, like let's say PLS is just an example. PLS, what is PLS, uh, something like that. Sometimes you can even do it three times, you know, to be perfectly honest. The more that you can put it up there, renaming itself, the more powerful it will be, okay? Now, right when you're done with that, copy all names to the top of the description. So the very top of the YouTube world you want to have uh, in the description, you want to have that exact same name. I don't care what that name is, copy it over and put it right there. I put my link right behind that. I'd even tell people to call me and then even have my phone number up there. So all that's exactly what I just mentioned. That's the end phone number. Now say the name in the video once or twice if possible. 
If you already know what you're going to call that video, then go ahead and, and say it like at the very beginning when you were, you know, introducing yourself and stuff like that. This video is going to be on blah, 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 blah. Say it once, if not twice in the video. YouTube does take software to check to see is your content exactly what it says it is. Okay? So if you've got all the check marks, Powerly Systems is listed twice. So that's check one. Description matches that. Your link's right there beside it. They can see it right at the very top. They want to see that blue link sitting there, you know. Or you will. You want them so the leads can see that. Members. Okay? And then you say it in the description itself. If you do those three things, you're on par for the most part for that keyword. Now, I'm not going to say just because you've done all that, YouTube's going to say you're number one. Hey, he's done that right, blah, blah, blah. There you are. But if you did this every day, and it takes you two weeks. If it takes you a month, you're going to climb that ladder, y'all, because you're a workhorse with these elements in place. Okay? That's the difference. Being a workhorse, being relentless, and standing out in the YouTube world is going to make you grow. Period. Okay? Hammer away at the keywords over and over and over and over and over again. Okay? I should have put over a couple more times up there. I apologize. Uh, but yes, it's very true. Um, you know, and yes, there's people that say you can do SEO with this and stuff like that. Well, here's the problem. SEO changes every year just about for how they do this with this and stuff like that. Uh, how you become an authority. You can look up other people and find out how much of an authority they are. I, I know how this stuff works. To be perfectly honest, I threw it out the window and just said, I'm just going to be a workhorse and stay at these keywords, those 10 that I just described earlier, and see where it puts me. That's what happened. My opinion, didn't really have to do a whole lot of SEO or I knew what was going to require to do it in the first place. Um, have a daily routine, y'all. One video a day and then post that link on your timeline and in your Facebook groups. Uh, I think that's an absolute great way to let people see that you're making content. Um, let them get a chance to hear what you think about your business. And you can tell them down in it, say, you know, uh, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, blah, blah, blah. Things of that nature would be a good way to build up some people who are starting to follow you. Uh, it's not hard. And do that on a regular basis. Stay in a routine. How to get uh, content for videos. Okay, this is, a, this is a pretty good one here. If I post on my timeline on Facebook. Let me give you an example here. Let me go to my timeline. Uh, okay, here, here's a perfect example, y'all. Okay, this is the newest USI Tech video I just uploaded. Take a look when you get a chance. And I've got one person, two person, three people that's already, you know, put a like or a love down there. And or I think I put the love. I usually do. Hey, yeah, always. <laughs> okay, but here's the point. You know, it gives me the opportunity for these people to go through and take a look at it. Not only do I post it in my Facebook, I know I got on my timeline as well. Uh, a lot of times I get more in my Facebook. Uh, they get a notification because I'm the administrator for the Facebook that I've just posted in it. Sometimes it'll get me more people, you know, um, going in that way but my timeline as well can do pretty good um okay here's something y'all i had uh i had seen this earlier this is a guy he posted something on facebook uh you know it meant something i thought i'd use that i've got some feedback from people commenting on it uh here's something here i would rather work my butt off in online business getting right getting it right than to take it easy in a job going nowhere to be honest, if I post something like this, I really could make a video on just about any of this content. Um, you know, here's one. If I'm going to be a workhorse, you can best believe um, I'm going to do it for myself. Again, you know, it's a pretty good uh, uh, message just behind here. So I could do Power Lead Systems training and then start talking about y'all, you know, the importance of being a workhorse and things of that nature. It's a good way to get content, um, you know, not having to script anything. I think it's a big thing. Here's a little bit of my artwork that I've personally done. I don't think I do a video on that. I was like 16 years old when I colored that or painted it. And okay, so that's going to be it for that part. Let's get back over here. I just wanted to show you that a lot of times when you're looking content, if you post something on your timeline or in a business that's going to be uplifting or things of that nature, that's a good way to do it. Secondly, if you've got if you apply a lot of action and you've got downline asking you questions. Whatever just about a downline asks you, you can just about turn it into a, a video. If it's something that you've learned by applying action, and a lot of these things we take for granted because we've done it for so long, 
And you think, you know, I don't have no content to do. But then you find out that somebody brand new had a lot of questions about how to make a button for their POS pages or something. And you're like, oh, well, you know, now that you mention it, I did learn that this place here was a great place. And then you could just start going through there. So I'm saying sometimes you just trigger thoughts in your mind that could wind up being a great video, not only for your download, but for other people that get a chance to relate to you and they say you know you're part of your list. See what I'm saying? It's not really hard. Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, one, one last thing, people doing content. If you are someone that likes to study um, training on this and that and stuff like that, then you can watch training. Let's say if you wanted to do a video teaching people how to do SEO, that's not something somebody's going to stumble across. You will have to look that up, right? Well, if it wound up working good for them, wouldn't it work good for you? Now, I'm not saying steal their content. I'm saying take what you learn and put it in your own words. Then you've got another video, brand new content or something. You can take entire training series and go all the way down it and put things in your own words and you really look like you know what you're doing. It's a good way to get uh, you know, content for YouTube for sure. Okay. Now, y'all, I know this has been a long video, but I'm getting to the really, really killer stuff right here. Huge bonus strategy. Leverage one business against another, and uh, I'm going to explain this to you. Huge benefits. When my PLS businesses, when my PLS business, I'll say business, sorry, grew the most, I was not promoting Powerly Systems directly. Okay. When I first got in Powerly Systems, um, I really wasn't promoting Powerly Systems directly, to be honest. I went to my second business. I made my landing page sales pages. I was focused on primary businesses. Next business, I focused directly on my primary business. Powerly Systems was my landing page sales pages. It was my backbone business. But I want you to listen what made it different. And, and, and I learned that I don't think anybody else was even doing, to be perfectly honest. Think about this. Second business I got into, remember me telling you it was 1.3 million people, got to 1.8 million real quick. Got up to 2.5 million people inside that business that was, um, you know, just killing it. So, here I am on YouTube, and the title said the name of that business, that primary business. I'm going to just call it primary. So, the title said the primary business twice, like I told you earlier. Description it was exactly what the title said, plus my link right there. And in the video, I said it twice inside the video. So I was sitting on par for doing really well, and I was really excited about the business. I told you about that earlier, right? Well, here's the thing. Let's say I do 100 videos. Out of every one of those videos, every one of them, y'all, about halfway through the video, I will tell them the answer to this business, to any online business, is Power Lead Systems. Because duplication is the answer for other people in any business. I would say that branding yourself is the most important thing you can ever do for yourself. Well, Power Lead Systems allows you to do both. So here's Power Lead Systems in every video that these people were not looking Power Lead Systems. A lot of these people were already in that primary business. To be honest, I would say more than half. They were just looking up someone. They found somebody related to. They were probably trying to find more information. I, you know, I was just right on par for where they were looking. Next thing you know, they really. I became the poster child for someone new that was in that primary business. They, a lot. Remember me telling you earlier. A lot of people said, "I wish I'd been in that business with you." You know what I'm saying? Well, y'all, if I'm telling them the answer is Power Lead Systems, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to get my Power Lead Systems business. The most my businesses grew in Power Lead Systems is when I was not focused at Power Lead Systems. That was my backbone business. It will always be my backbone business. I was focused at my primary businesses. But because I was focusing at my primary business and succeeding in that business, became a poster child for that business, by busting my butt, doing exactly what I was telling you I was doing. I'm a practice what I preach person, y'all. Go look at every video I've got. I've got almost a thousand videos. Been doing online business for less than three or three years, probably sometime in the next few days, three years, y'all. Over a thousand, I'm mean, right at a thousand videos. Practice what I preach. You can look at what I'm doing. I can tell you, every video I said Powerly Systems is the answer. Why was that so smart? Powerly Systems got 41,000 people in the Facebook group. To be perfectly honest, 
Not all of them are going to be active. I don't know what the number is. I don't even really care. I think power lead systems is on the up. I think it's going to get better and better and better. But let's say, just for numbers, there's 25,000 people. Just, just saying. It might not even be that much. I have no idea. I don't even care. But 25,000 people, let's say, are in power lead systems. Two and a half million people in this other business. Two and a half million people compared to 25,000. So, how many of these people that love that business that are connected with me that that are already in that business, me sponsored or not, didn't really matter, are not in power lead systems? I don't care if every person in power lead systems was in that business. Look at how much is left over. It's leveraging one business that is huge, and it's, if it's free to come into, man, that's like Christmas. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that. If you got a free business that is really big, that's growing real crazy, because that's usually how big businesses get, they're free to sign up to, then you got people like giving out like candy, going in, finding the business they believe in, loving that business, and they're looking for the answers, and you're telling them the answer is power lead systems. It's one of the smartest things leveraging a business you could ever do. And I'm going to tell y'all, even though I might have been making a lot of money over here, I was making really good money in power lead systems during that same time frame, just because the people that loved the business were looking for the advantage that I kept telling them that Power Lead Systems was, okay? Now, YouTube can kill the do the high dollar businesses with YouTube, y'all. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch up on this a little bit, but this is going to be my next video. I'm not going to make it any longer. I know this has been a pretty long video, um, but yes, y'all, YouTube, if you got a thousand dollar business, or anything more than a thousand, I will tell you that I think YouTube is the way to go. Don't even don't even take the time to be posting in the Facebook groups. If your lowest part is a thousand dollar business, I would be nailing as hard as I can YouTube at the keywords and telling them what was so great about that business. Because people, like I said, y'all, the highest ratio of quality people come from YouTube. Okay. So, because they've already connected to you, remember what they're looking for. Someone that believes in that business, they already know what it is most of the time. They know how much it is. They just want somebody that's going to believe in the business that's putting out content and it's going to be accessible. That's what a $1,000 business a person's looking for a sponsor to be. And YouTube is the answer. That phone number down below should be a given on that one. I'm going to tell you. So, and again, I'm going to go to the next one. The next video, y'all, is going to be what criteria should your businesses meet to get incredible results in Facebook, incredible results in YouTube um, as well. So that's what I'm going to be covering this next. I hope you enjoyed this, y'all. I'm sorry this was a little bit longer, but to be honest, there's so many things that really need to be covered in the YouTube world. Yes, y'all, I personally think you should be killing YouTube. I don't care if it's a free business. Um, if it's been around a long time, if it's just coming out of the darks, nobody knows what it is. I don't. It doesn't really matter. If you believe in the business, um, you should be making YouTube a huge part because of the fact that it's such an easy way to brand you into that business, and people get a chance to relate to you. And what's the same general rule? People join people. Okay. I appreciate y'all.